Well, down in Iowa, a federal judge is immediately stopping the enforcement of a law passed earlier this year, banning school districts from creating their own mask mandates. ABC 6 News reporter Mackenzie Davis reached out to Northern Iowa schools today and joins us live in the studio tonight with more on if the schools will start mandating masks. Mackenzie. Laura, schools in Iowa now have the option to mandate masks in their districts. Now this immediate, immediately knocks down what Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds' law passed last May, preventing school boards from requiring masks to prevent the spread of COVID-19. We led in honoring parents' freedom and deciding what's in the best interest of their children. Yes. Now it's up to schools across Iowa whether or not they will mandate masks. I think most school districts are probably going to go with, you know, what they've been doing. Clear Lake Community School District will not be putting a mask mandate in place as of now because they don't see a need to. We have not seen a, a big, huge increase in COVID cases within our school. Um, probably not a lot different from what it was last year when we had, you know, masks required. And so um, I think at this time, you know, we'll, we'll kind of stay the course. Clear Lake still has all mitigation strategies in place from last year, including sanitation and staying home if you're sick. However, they're not doing contact tracing this year. You know, we're really right now as a district in a community, I think we're seeing more um, RSV and, um, you know, those types of things um, strap than we are, you know, as far as COVID. As for Charles City, they are waiting for more guidance. They're not making a decision just yet. But schools like Clear Lake are not leaving masks completely off the table. If things change, which sometimes they do, then you know, we feel we need to require them, we, we would move to that. Now, Clear Lake Schools has a board meeting tonight. Well, they will, they will be discussing masking in their schools further. And Mason City Community School District has not gotten back to us yet on what their plans are following this decision. Laura.